I'd love to tell you a great story about um, my lab. Um, it was years ago when I first was starting my research program. It's very hard to get started because we have expertise in a certain field, and actually my degree is in biochemistry, not genetics. Um, but then you're, you're expected to set up a laboratory where you have to understand finances, you have to understand how to manage people, you have to understand you know, priorities and things like that. So you kind of learn that just by doing it. Um, and nowadays I think we're more aware of that and we, we do try to offer support for young faculty who come in to set up their own labs. But my very favorite story from when I was starting out, it might be a long story, but um, I had an idea about a project, and I thought it was a really great idea. And so I had a summer student in my lab who actually I used to babysit <laughs> in my old, when I, when I was a young girl, and um, she had graduated with a bachelor's degree, had a, um, had a position at a chemical company in Chicago, and her mother didn't want her to do all this chemical stuff, and so she came to my lab for the summer. I got my first grant funded, and so she stayed on as my technician for about two or three years. And she was just a terrific, not just technician, hands-on, but a wonderful person. She knew all the cleaning people by name, and so anything that my lab wanted done, we got done. Well, she's the first author of my very first paper that I published as an independent, and it's in science. And it basically says that this tumor suppressor that I work on is a, it's a transcription factor. A transcription factor is a protein that binds DNA and initiates the expression of a lot of RNAs. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, yes, and it's basically um, the material that um, in our bodies, in our cells, that, that encode all the um, the, all, all, everything that makes us. The RNA part is the ribonucleic acid component, and it's what um, makes all the proteins that a cell needs to survive, to grow, to replicate, to divide. So we identified the function of this protein, um, which now everybody agrees that that's the function of the protein. And it was just so exciting to see her in the hallway with this gel that said, oh, look, it's, it's activating transcription. And after that, you know, the rest of the experiments were just so straightforward because we had that one result. So it was just, it was my very first paper, and it was just very exciting, and it was, it changed the field, and it was published in a great journal, so that was very exciting.